Wait, everyone was smiling in the last one. <laughs> everyone smile. All right. Okay, so this is our adult panel. And first of all, we're going to be starting to go with 11 Q and 11 chromosome related disorders. So we're going to start over here with TV. And what I want each of you to do just for this first question is your name, where you live, and how old you are. Three things, your name, where you live, and how old you are. My name is Lee Bertani. I'm 18 years old, and I live in Grandpa, New Jersey. Perfect. Hi. Hi, my, my name is Janine, and I am going to be turning 18 years old, and I live in Camp Kansas City. Hello, my name is Jamie. I'm 21 in Vermont. My name is Tristan Ferrocchio. I live in Knoxville, Tennessee, and I am 28 years old. I'm Carlin. I'm from Asbury Park, New Jersey, but in the fall I'll be living in Pennsylvania for school. And and I'm 24. I'll be 25 in December. Hi, I'm Kalia. I live in oh yeah, in Sacramento. I'm thirty-five years old. What? Hi, my name is Heidi Sam. I'm gonna be thirty-eight this summer and I live in hometown Cosbad. <laughs> I'm Brayden, and this is Zachary. I don't think he's gonna talk. Uh, we are Brayden is 25, and Zachary is 22, and we are from Canton, Georgia. Okay, next question. We're gonna start on this side. This next question is: What do you want people to know? about life with an 11Q disorder. So what do you want them to know about people like you? Brayden and Zach, their developmental level isn't such that they understand what an 11Q disorder is or what Jacobson syndrome is. They don't know that they're any different than anyone else, but that's why they want everyone to know that they're not different than anyone else. They're happy, great kids or adults. <laughs> What do you want people to know about I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What, what do I want? Because people just love, love you, kids. Sometimes it's hard for me to. I'm still a person and I'm feeling or I love money. I love one another, and but I still make people smile 
And what's the last one? And last. I'm not sure. Maybe just for people who do know what it is, they should talk about their conditions if they if they are comfortable. If not, then that's understandable. But I'm personally someone who's very comfortable talking about all of my many medical conditions. So much that it's all over the internet. <laughs> I'm going to speak for Kara. Um, she does not understand what Jacobson's is and has no limitations. And as you know from our talk yesterday, she loves just about everything and everybody. And we'll talk about that probably in another another question. Yeah. No, I'm really Chrome. And she loves Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> All of my friends accept me because I like everything, everybody, everybody else. I fit, it was hard to in school with that boy of mine in school. For me, is um, sunlight is the moon. Mm -hmm. um, but I think what we talked about before in practice is she would like everybody to know that it's important to be kind to each other. It is, it is fun to enjoy your, your life being a happy person. I will be same in regard for in sport, talking to people, telling to be with, with the rest of, of my school, hanging out with people at school, playing sports, watching sports games, talking to people around town. I mean, I say that this is everybody else, it's we're all the same. Okay. The next question is what is your living situation? Do you live at home with mom and dad? Do you have an apartment? Uh, are you at college? What is your living situation? I live at home with mom and dad. I live with my mom and dad. I live with my mom and dad, and I have a lot of time to my myself. I live in Nashville, Tennessee, with my grandmother and my and Kathy. Oh, Currently, I live with my parents in New Jersey, but again, in the fall, if you look at my poster, you see that I'm going to be living in Pennsylvania for school. <laughs> I I have my own house and behind my parents I have my own my own house behind my parents house and I have caregivers who help me. I have my own apartment. I've been living on my own for 12 years. I come my apartment in my house. When Freeman Zach we live at home with ah. Okay. The next question. Are you ready? What are some of your strengths? What are you really good at? Brayden is really good at being non-judgmental and he loves everyone. And he's good at being happy. He's never met a stranger he doesn't love. Zachary is really good at getting super excited about things. Um, he's 
hyper obsessed with things like school buses. And he also makes everyone feel kind of, he can make people feel important because he gets so excited when he sees people that he loves. So excited. He, he cheers when they come into the room. <laughs> I'm a hard worker, I'm a happy person, and I like to help people. I, I like making people smile, and I help the other in need. I, I help my dad all the time. I have a lot of stand out for a woman. I don't know, I guess those could kind of be strengths, like my music and my books, if that counts. I'm not sure if that counts. No, and, and, and my pearly beads, which you can get my business cards and my pearly beads from my feet. <laughs> Tara is the best roommate anybody can have. She loves all of her chores around the house. She cleans her room. She unloads the dishwasher, feeds all the pets. She has two jobs. She loves to work. Yeah, I know. We, uh, she used to have three jobs, but now she has two jobs. She loves to work. They give her any task. She can do it, and she remembers it. Um, she is a human GPS and she loves <laughs> all sports. The end. The end. What about my personal traits? I love staying from a musical and hearing mostly my choir from high school. Called very, called very old in the high school. My personal friends are Chuck Olympic, dancing, and maybe cracking dogs. Yes, singing is a strength of the human GPS. She's got that too. And she's really, really good with keeping everybody on schedule and on time. Yeah. And her features love it. <laughs> I'm good at being um weatherman is sports fan runner. Do it on a GPS direction. <laughs> I'm trying to get ready. I'm a big sports fan. I'm a I'm a big future director of my show. Yeah. <laughs> I expect to get in charge of yourself. <laughs> um, for this next question. Tell us a little bit about what it was like going to high school. And if you are still in high school, what it's like going to high school. What are some of the activities you've done in high school? How did you make friends? Was it easy to make friends? What were things that you enjoyed doing in high school? And tell us a little bit about your experience. That's right at my alley. <laughs> I met with you all the time from, that, from when my youth buddy show met, met that year. His name is Dr. Buzz. He's a two hours old. We're for East California, New Jersey, Florida, Nevada. Um, I'm very, my director of the short play in Zebia. My thing is the Brian, Tom B. I think I just met with people, strange people, and I met Alan Judge at, at Wayne Farm yeah. in New Jersey. I'm a mayor of Cranford. Not sure if you see her, she's a police. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sydney said. <laughs> I know my friends from Smithson. It's my real nice people. But then, like, uh, I think I like to with uh, school friends. 
the past week spent through time with my emotion and that or had my fingers, my hope of fortune in that. One of my favorite probably schools that I've ever been in was Young Pickerstein with Hayden and Wesley Matthews. And when I was in any, when I was in any when I was in anything goes, when, when I got to nursing tap dance. I was homeschooled until 2018 when I went to community college which I went to for six years. So that was my combination, college and like community college and high school, I guess. So uh, my favorite thing about Brookdale, the community college I went to were clubs, which mainly theater club and dance club. Although I was an LGBT club at one point, but then I had to leave because some people were bullied. Um, I had a great time in high school. I made a lot of friends. I did cheerleading and I, oh yeah, I did. I'm now I'm in all and at DAA and I, I did acting, art, uh, reading and writing and and Zoom, and and then I did a. I I just graduated college. And I forgot. Oh, I got my cheerleading. I got a lot of help with my mom, who's in the back, and my aunt, who uh, helped my mom and me. Go to Chile, yeah. I did five years in graduate school. I did two years at Mariposa College. I did two years at UCLA program called Pathway. If no one knows what it is, a program for like us. And get ready for, for life. I did four years in high school. I did AFB in high school. I was the water girl on the bas basketball team and I was in JROTC. Brayden and Zachary both love high school. They love school more than anything, so they're kind of sad now that they don't get to go to school anymore. Um, but they do go to a day program, which they still think is school. So they love school. Brayden was also known as the mayor because uh, they actually had to move his homeroom because it was too far down the hall and he stopped too many times to talk to people. So he was very, very social. Everyone loved him at school. They had great experiences. Okay, nice. Question. I already know the answer to this for Kara, but have you ever had a chance to get a job? And if you did want to get a job, what do you think you would want to do for your job? Brayden and Zachary have not had jobs, um, but if they did have a job, I think Brayden would want to be a greeter somewhere. He like he's never met a stranger he doesn't love. I work at Sprouts. I've been there for four years, almost four years. Sometimes I have my mom with her work. Yes, I work. I work at at the bowling alley and I uh, Walgreens uh, at Toys R Us and the baby department and as a dad. 
Stanford office with my mom. Sorry. You don't need to apologize. <laughs> and then my other one is I that the one the one of my favorite white one story the red. <laughs> Look, I did a babysitter before. I'm a clown. I am certified in babysitting if anyone needs a babysitter. <laughs> and also, I've done tech, like backstage work for theater through the community college that I went to and also through a local theater. And so, for a job for the future after college would be anything in this theater. Probably an actress like my ankles to be an actress on Broadway, but just any job in this theater. We all know that Kara has had three jobs. Um, Bono's Barbecue, and an art thrift store, Bono's Barbecue. She did anything they asked her to. She cleaned tables, she served drinks, she served food, our thrift store, she does anything they ask her to, and the coffee collective, yes. she's a barista. <laughs> when, when I was in high school, I was working at this grocery store called Mother's Markets, and my dream job is to work at either this 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 one in California or Hollywood in Pittsburgh, Tennessee. I work in my cafe bar. I used to work in the shop, but I can't play it now this week. <laughs> I work at the fish pantry, and I also work at the nursery at the church, and then I'm like, and next to, next, oh wait, next to you, I might be, I might be coming a Kayla. I want to be, oh, I want to be an executive director of my show one day, Montel Academy, in Madison, Michigan, Jersey. Okay, what do you like to do in your free time? Watch TV is usually your TV on my iPad. I like to I like to hang out I like to hang out with my friends time. My free time I like doing special missing. Um I'm not my brother on Friday. Particularly, my free time is to go to Dollywood and see all the shows at Dollywood and actually sing some songs on Amazon Music. Kara doesn't have much free time because she has how many jobs? <laughs> Three jobs, so she's always working. But she loves all sports uh, teams. She loves to go to baseball games, football games, horse track, basketball games. So anybody that's got any tickets to anything in Denver, that will help. And uh, she likes some downtime, just watching NCIS and movies and playing solitaire on her computer. I like spending time with my friends and like going to theater, whether that be Broadway or local. Doesn't matter, but local can be cheaper because I'm a volunteer at the local theater, so I get to go for free. My free time. I like to watch TV. Yeah, I like to watch TV. My favorite Netflix movie. Is it memorable? And then my last one is I. Oh man, that's tough. 
Uh, oh, I color and I write hang out with my family. What do I like to do on my free time? To hang out with my friends. I like to go to the Oceanside Movie Lodge to play trivia in Cornho. Spend time with my family. Brayden likes to play on his iPad. He likes to watch shows like Elmo and Curious George. And he has he has uh, an older gentleman who has a little dog that Brayden loves. And he, he likes to go visit him maybe about once a week. He kind of go visit him. Zachary loves his iPad and he loves music. They both love music. And Zachary likes looking for school buses. Going out or looking for school buses. Okay, this next question. So there are a lot of people in this room and some online who have little children who've just been diagnosed with Jacobson syndrome. And they're probably wondering what it's like and what they can expect an older person with Jacobson syndrome, what, what their life would be like. So what advice would you give parents in this room and others who just got a diagnosis, what would, advice would you give them? Well, what I would give them is don't put any limits. And Braden and Zach would probably say, just have fun. Life is fun, life is good. I would say just love them so much. If they want to join Special Olympics, like I did, I made a lot of friends. Just be patient and be brave and and remember we're all family. It's your turn. It's hard to tell someone who's a, 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 a young child because Carmen was 18. I don't know what to say. So, I was 18 when she was well, if, give, parent, give if parent, anybody advice you want to give. Now's the chance to give advice. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what to say. So. <laughs> One of Kara's favorite songs is by Bob Barley. Don't worry, be a happy man. That's our advice. Don't worry, be happy. <laughs> One of the things I could say is be yourself, keep going, have faith in you, and be 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 unique. All of his part and what they're doing. Um... Okay, Cindy wanted to tell parents to, when we had practiced this question, she pointed to her medical bracelet right away. She thinks this is a really important thing to have because she knows she has a bleeding disorder and her medical bracelet has information on the back. So if, if something happens, um, you can call the number and they have all of her information about Dickinson syndrome and it tells the medical personnel not to give her any blood thinners. Um, she thought of that herself when we practiced this question. She said she wanted to tell people about the bracelet. I think it makes her feel safe because she has a way to communicate with people pretty quickly in an emergency. And it, luckily, haven't had to use it, but um, be sure to wear it all the time. Don't. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What would you tell someone? To be, to have them be themselves. When people tell me at all the time, they tell us, be yourself, be unique, be yourself. And just 
देखूं लॉन्ग एज के स्कूल की जाता है एंड लॉन्ग एज वाला This is the second to last question. I know you're getting tired, Pete, and you need a nap. But <laughs> what are you most proud of in your life? And don't say me because it's not me. What are you most proud of? I'm most proud of being with the director of my studio at my school. Yeah, that's one of the ones. <laughs> I was proud of my basketball team for winning four on the bounce and my football team for that means for us winning goals on the halfway line. Okay. Um, I'm proud of my team winning third place in my high school tennis show called Bray. I don't want to say the song from from Sam for the Opera called Music of the Night. I would say Kara's most proud of her three point scoring basketball shot that she can still do now after her stroke from her left hand without jumping on a regular net. And her three jobs. <laughs> Last year, I did not know that I wanted to transfer to a four year school. Uh, but I thought about it and was like, oh, maybe transferring would be a good idea. Why not try it? So I looked up schools in like New Jersey, New York, and Pennsylvania area and found, found three schools that we, that me and my parents wanted to look at. And the second school that we looked at was Arcadia, which is the one that I was going to be going to. But at the time, like at first, we went to the first school, Ryder, and it wasn't, my dad was like, so sometimes people get this feeling that like you know that this is where you want to go. And he's like, Do you have this feeling? I'm like, maybe, I don't know. This is the first school. And then when we went to Arcadia, which was the second of the three schools we we um we looked at, then I was like, Yeah, this is where I want to go. <laughs> and then a week later I got accepted into that school. <laughs> I definitely like this baking, and not only that, I have two, um, a niece who's two, and my other nephew's going to be seven on Friday, and I love being an aunt because I'm a good role model, and if anybody who um, needs help learning what we're what right now, what we're learning about, just be brave and teach the younger kids what autism is not hard, it's a learning process. Well, I am, I got picked for Special Olympics for the 2023, so to the world games, and it was in, scared me. How do you say it? Berlin, Berlin. Yeah, I came home. Yeah, that was Berlin, Germany. Was the gold medal. Brayden's after both proud that they both have graduated from high school. Brayden actually will put on that cap and down anytime you want. <laughs> okay. This is the last question. What makes you special? I think both of my boys, what makes them special is their ability to be to unconditionally love and to make people feel good about themselves. They love everyone and they let you know that they love you. Hmm, this is funny, but I have big heart. I love to help people to get around on the bus and the train. Yeah. <laughs> my, my, 
I went to help in my other one. It's an amazing, um, fun adventure, and I really enjoy doing this every time for the little few kids. These are hard questions. <laughs> <laughs> Which is something I told my parents going into this. So these are hard questions. Um, I don't know. I guess I just say everything that I've already said. I don't know what else to add. Tara just asked me what the word special meant. So I think I kind of summed it up yesterday. She's got the purest soul of anybody I know. She's the nicest person I've ever met. Never said an unkind word and always the first to help other people. <laughs> what makes me very special about myself? My my dad and happy who always take care of me and my grandma who always take care of me. And I'm very social as per, and makes me I love my dad. I especially I especially love my senior voice and My question is my mom and dad, my boss, me, and I love holding people. Um, thank you. Uh, this is her first time on the adult panel because she's just turned 18 and she's a little nervous today. Um, if you just interact with her on a regular basis, you know that she is very outgoing and talkative and she has so many friends. People kind of uh, gravitate towards her, I would say. And I think that's what makes her special. She's also the only person I know who hates parties. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so he, he doesn't want to talk right now, but um, I would say he is one in a million. And I think we kind of all feel that way about our kids. and. We all talk about whatever they're missing in that chromosome. Um, they lose inhibitions, they lose the hatred, they lose like a lot of the negative things that um, other people tend to have. He has the biggest heart of anyone I know, and he knows people wherever we go. Sometimes, you know, we're walking downtown and people are yelling, Hi, Katie, and I'm like, Who is that? <laughs> and then people just know him, they don't forget him. Right, you're you're unforgettable, and so uh, he leaves an impression wherever he goes. I'm sure of that. <laughs> All right, let's get one big round of applause. We're gonna take a break, and we'll get him back with our breakout session. So from about five minutes, five minute break. Yeah, 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 you know, I